podcasting star Joe Rogan is now apologizing for a recently surfaced video showing him repeatedly using a racial slur on his show over the years. The most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. I know that to most people, there's no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word, never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. The apology comes after Spotify removed dozens of episodes of his hit show, The Joe Rogan Experience, including episodes with Alex Jones and former Breitbart editor Milo Yiannopoulos. Rogan has been facing criticism for sharing misinformation about COVID, leading artists, including Neil Young, to pull their music from the streaming platform. Now it appears Rogan has lost one of his most prominent supporters, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The movie star originally defended Rogan, but when asked about Rogan's use of racial slurs, The Rock called it a learning moment for himself. Rogan reportedly signed a $100 million deal with Spotify in 2020. The company's CEO, in a letter to employees Sunday, said he does not believe that silencing Joe is the answer. Other comics and podcasters also coming to Rogan's defense. Whitney Cummings tweeting, comedians did not sign up to be your hero. Stay focused on the people we pay taxes to, to be moral leaders. Even if everything he said was 100% right, you still shouldn't take medical advice from a comedian doing a podcast. You can't go, well, I used to host Fear Factor and now he gives me my medical advice. That's not a thing. Spotify says it is now adding content advisories to COVID-related podcasts. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.